Hello everyone, and welcome to Fable Anniversary, which is a remake of Fable, and Fable of the Lost Chapters. So now then. Right. Yeah. The controls for this are a bit wonky. Like, A to select things and B to go back. Not sure I'm okay with that. Anyway. Right. So. Everything's nice and high defish, but. There's this odd. Not sure what to call it. Tone to the textures. Like. They just look. I don't know. A tad blurry to me. Also, the inventory system, dear lord, who designed this? You have to press, um, let's see here, where the hell is insert? Insert to move, and then delete to move things, and also end to navigate and home. I can't press home though. Home's my record button. But yeah, you can't just go with the arrow keys. Well, on some things you can, but tabs you can't. Also A and B and yeah, I, who the hell designed this? I mean, I get that console portation controls and such, but seriously, insert, home, delete, and end? Th those aren't even actual controls. Who the heck? Right. So yeah, Faber Anniversary Edition. That's definitely a thing. I mean, it has some new s improved graphics and stuff, but God, they screwed it up. Just from having no mouse support, I mean, I guess you could use controller, but... <laughs> still. I mean, let's go back to Fable. The Lost Chapters. Which actually had, you know, mouse and keyboard support. Cro the controls are still a tad wonky, by all means. Or so, con continue game? Don't even think I actually start game on this one. So anyway, let's start the game. I've been mean to do this for quite a while, but never got around to it. And it stopped working. Deep in the forest of Albion, lay the small town of Oakvale, unchanged by time and untouched by the sword. Here lived a boy and his family, a boy dreaming of greatness, of one day being a hero. Sometimes he imagined himself as a noble knight or a powerful wizard. And other times, he dreamt he'd be an evil warrior. But in all his dreams of greatness, he could not possibly imagine the power of the destiny that lay before him. And yes, it's supposed to be blurry like that. Come on, wake up! Daydreaming again, were you? Just like your mother, mind always wandering. Well, let it wander off to find your sister, will you? She's out playing by the Barrowfield's gate. Remember, you haven't given her a birthday present yet. Don't tell me you forgot to get her one. Well, I'm not bailing you out this time, son. Hmm. I'll tell you what, I'll give you a gold piece for each good deed you do around Oakvale. That should be enough to buy her a present. Now, get moving and stay out of trouble. Right. So, Jesus, these textures. My God. 
Oh god. Uh, why is it? I did not set that. What the hell happened to my textures? My settings seem to have completely eef themselves. Like, I mean, holy crap. Damn. Where's the vertigo sink off? Oh, Jesus, who puts vertigo sink on? It locks my frames after all. Okay, that's better. Apparently, this game either doesn't like fraps at all, or has some really bad issues with things. Okay, the textures are less pixelated. Not as good as the Fable Anniversary remake textures, but still, better than that. Also, the screen resolution is no longer freaking 640 by whatever the hell it was. Let's just contain your flowers close. So you cannot has such. Oh, uh, I almost forgot. Make sure everything's just that right. Charles are a tad wonky. I changed things to be more better, but... Hmm... Where is it? There's supposed to be a button. I'm not sure if it's actually set, though. Eh. Clicking. So much clicking. Oh, don't press that. Hmm. Not sure. There's supposed to be a button that allows me to basically switch to. Not sneak. But switch to. Ah, uh, it's space. Okay, good. Good. I can kick chickens. Fun times. That stuff's apparently going on. Trade goods! There's, there's a little girl. We should totally talk to her. God, your voice annoys me, girl. Her stuffing needs changing today, and I can't find her. Please help. I will consider it. She's a lovely little furry bear with a blue patch on her back. As I just noticed something, we have a little pale braid thing. Trade goods! Only on one side. Who are we? Some Jedi Padawan? Oh, no. <laughs> Not what I meant to Hello, do, lad. actually. I'm a trader. I wander the world buying and selling wares, especially to find folk like your good self. Some right. little girl I saw said you have a sister, and it's her birthday. And it seems you haven't got her a present yet. It Wizard. just so happens that I have a rather nice box of sweets here. nice box. Guaranteed to put a smile on any sister's face for only three gold pieces. Three gold pieces, eh? Maybe no. later, but hurry before I eat them myself. Remember, three gold coins, that's all they cost. Three gold pieces, you say? Might yeah, as well play guy. as much as you can. Cause back to school tomorrow. Oh no, Honestly, not school. where's that? Where's that filthy layabout husband of mine? <laughs> With some woman, I don't doubt. I run his house, bring up his children, and what do I get in return? Nothing. God, my hair looks bad. If you find him, let me know, won't you? So yeah. I mean, this game, it looks Just like, like a kid's game, I mean, still. with these graphics. I mean, it looks all happy and cheerful and... 
childlike, but oh, this is not a kid's game. Despite looking like a kid's game. What? Also, uh, yeah, I, I was they're... just, um, I, I've never even met this woman. Who is she? Look, Sonny, keep your mouth shut about this, right? My wife's at home with our little ones, and I'm supposed to be working. But a man should be entitled to do what he likes, don't you think? Yes. Tell you what, if you keep this little secret, I'll give you a gold piece. So, you get a gold piece for keeping a, this man's secret about cheating on his wife. Yeah, sure. Good lad. Here, have this gold piece. Because I'm a dick. You. Don't get tied down to one woman. Look after yourself. Forget everyone else. Oh yeah, by the way, we totally will be doing this as evil as possible. Probably. More than likely. And maybe it'll go good at some point later on. I was like, I remember, shift is not run. Shift. Run my is my right mouse button. The lore. Alan. Where's that filthy layabout husband of mine? Remember he paid us the gold piece? <laughs> With some woman I don't do. I run his house? Bring up his chill. If you find him, let me know. So now we go talk to her? Yeah. And we tell her. Right. I'm gonna turn him into balverine food. Thank you, young sir, for telling um. me. Well, those NPCs look a bit odd. And now she's gonna go murder her husband. Oh well, but we still got the gold from him, oh. so. Oh, thank goodness! Listen, lad, could you do me a favor? Playing both sides, we. Oui. I've got to, you know, answer a call of nature. Oh, stay here and watch this stock for me. There's a good lad. He's gotta take a wicked piss. Just stand between those two stacks and don't move. I'll put a good word in for you when I get back. Right, won't be long. So how much of a douche can I be? My cousin says that the barrels in these warehouses might have stuff in them. Quick, while he's away, smash his barrels up and see what's inside. Unless you're too scared. Unless you're just a big blubbing girl. Come on, oh, yeah? let's go and break stuff. What's that for? Yeah, like I'm a big blubbering girl. I'm that sort of a dick. There, like a lemon. These barrels are breakable. Remember, that's someone else's property. Oh, so you committed yes. a bad deed. No ain't counts for the first one you hit, though. Also, there's still more barrels to break. And the gold pieces, of course, in the last barrel. That's more like it. I don't think the bugs actually have anything on them. What's that for? <laughs> Just because I feel like it. Obviously. Excellent, thanks, lad. You've done me a big favor. I'll let your dad know what a splendid watchman you made. <laughs> you performed a good deed. Eh, yeah, that's just ironic. You performed a good deed by beating the crap out of a little kid yes, and punching bells. Idiots. Now then, moral oh, decisions. <laughs> around the town beating up anyone smaller than him. But you look strong. I bet you could scare him off for good. You only be able to hit characters when they have a red highlight. You must lock on by using space and then beat the crap out of them. Why are you playing with babies? What do you want? I'm just dealing with this brat. He was irritating me, playing with my sister that and a stupid angle. teddy bear. No, he won't give it to me, just because I said I'd rip his stupid head off. I told him, if he doesn't do what I say, I'm going to make his life a misery. Have 
you clean my mum's car for me yet? I mean, this here is probably a, this here is technically a good decision, but he's just being a dick for it no hurts. reason. <laughs> what are you doing? More so than me. I'm sorry. I'll leave him alone. Just please don't hit me again. Thank you. You stopped him good. Thank you. Here, I'll let you look after Rosie. She'll be safe with you. And thus we get the teddy bear. And you performed a good deed. However, the guard's going to... Oh no, the guards. Quick, swerve. Well, there's Rosie anyway. Right, got you, you little ruffian. What that little girl? I forget what her name is. I've heard reports that you've been doing bad deeds. Oh no, not bad deeds. Destruction of a person's vegetables. Violent conduct towards a person or persons without guards' permission. Yeah, remember, without guards' permission, you can beat people up. If you have guard's permission. Accessory to improper man and lady behavior. They were going to bang. That sort of behavior is not acceptable. If you were older, you'd be apprehended and fined by the town guards. Right. You need to decide if behaving like that is worth it, my young friend. I'll leave it at that for now. Oh, then where's that little girl at? There she over here. Ah, I guess she is. Right. Yes. <gasps> you found Rosie! Thank you so much! Yay. Come on, Rosie. Let's <laughs> change your stuffing. <laughs> I... That boy's head is twitching. Yes. That's the thing. I'm sort of enjoying my decision to record this. <laughs> oh god. Oh, so yeah. Favorite anniversary. Yeah, I'm just having horrible flashbacks to those controls. Hmm. I'm a man of my word. So, here's the gold for your good deeds. We but did if good. if you think that I'll turn a blind eye to your mischief, you're very wrong. Meh. Like it really matters in the long Look, run. try to keep out of trouble, please. For me. Well, uh, I think you I might think have enough there, son. Have you spoken to the trader? Hmm. You now have enough money. Uh, something simple your map shows the location of the person up to your place you should go to next. Main objective. Huzzah. You have six gold coins. Because we were both bad and good. Huzzah. Stock available. Which means we have three extra coins. Ooh, you're lucky I've still got these sweets. Quickly, give me three gold pieces now and they're yours. Young sir, they are yours. Wish your sister a happy birthday from me now, won't you? Maybe. I'll tell her the creepy guy with the mustache. Wish happy birthday to you. But yeah, being good or evil doesn't really matter actually in this game. Which is the fun part. Because, I mean, you could be evil, then you can be good. Then you can be evil some more. All it does is really change your appearance, then. Maybe the uh, end game, but... Well, that's more of a choice than anything, so... Hello, little brother. I hope you haven't forgotten what day it is, like you did last year. I'm sorry if I woke you up last night. It was another of those dreams. I was standing in this field when something happened, but I can't remember what. Never mind that, though. I'm still waiting for my present. I was trying to figure out what the hell was in her hair, if that was some sort of hair braid or worms. <laughs> I don't really know. I knew you were going to bring me chocolates. It's just like my dream. 
Come on, let's go home. Mother will be back for my party any minute now. I mean, yeah, I guess it's some sort of hail braid thing. That's a bit weird, though. Also, Scarecrow. Searching the container is a good way to find handy items. Be careful if you're planning on stealing from a house. You find nothing interesting. Yeah, that's what I think about you, Scarecrow. Also, that pumpkin. Look at those textures. <laughs> I need to stop doing that. Wait, there's something wrong. Bandits! I mean, as I said about this looking like a kid's game. It's really happening. They're here. You've got to hide. Got one. Evil had come to Oakvale. Bandits wielding torches and steel, slaying and burning all in their path. Blood red flames lit the night as the villagers screamed and begged for mercy, and soon their bodies filled the streets. Then the raiders reached the last house, where the boy and his family lived. It was them they had slaughtered so many to find. The father fought to protect his kin, but he was no warrior and fell mortally wounded. The bandits ripped the house apart, but could not find the boy. Through torture and threats, his mother and sister remained silent, and their furious attackers took them both. So yeah, about this not being a kid's game, they blinded the your sister, woods, the tortured boy watched your mother. All he knew was taken away. His whole life was crushed to ashes. Murdered the entire village. He was alone. Yeah. Not exactly happy start, is it? Also, to point out, I will not be doing Fable 2 because, well, it's an Ed Spots frickin' exclusive. Or Fable 3 because Fable 3. It has almost a worse inventory system than Fable Anniversary. Because, oh god, the inventory system in that, it's like a loading screen every time you want to open it, every time you want to do anything, ugh. So that's, you know, pretty much the only good favor for PC. We must leave. It's not safe here. They're all dead. You don't want to join them, do you? Then give me your hand. Yeah, for creepy dude with creepy glowing tattoo shows up and kills someone in front of you, maybe you should give him your hand. Hmm. I thought you'd have a stronger stomach than that. Come on. <sighs> Save your energy, boy. It's not me you want to fight. You might not realize it, but I just saved your life. There's nothing left for you in Oakvale. And if you'd stayed, you'd be as dead as the rest of them. Come with me. Well, obviously we should go with him. I mean... <laughs> My name is Maze, oh, God. and I'm the head of Crash the Guild of Heroes. Tenures. You must have heard of it. 
You'll find nowhere safer in all of Albion, nor a better place to call your home. And if it's vengeance you want, you'll need the training only we can offer. Here we are. I'll introduce you to the Guildmaster. He'll be your guide from now on. I have a new student for you. Put him in the dorm upstairs with the girl. You don't look much like hero material to me, but Maze knows what he's doing, I suppose. Well, follow me then. You'll be sharing this room with Whisper, one of our brightest young pupils. She's playing in the woods right now, but you'll meet her in the morning. For now, you should get some sleep. Your training starts tomorrow. Right, sleep. <laughs> that boy is traumatized. I mean, seriously, after what he's seen, it's hard not to be. It's time to wake up. You must be my roommate. Hmm. Shorter than I expected. My name's Whisper. I've been here for a month. Had the room to myself till now, too. But that's all right. You know you talk in your sleep. Sounded like a bad nightmare. Happens to a lot the first week. Some don't even last that long. You won't either if you don't get moving. The Guildmaster is waiting for us in the map room. You don't want to be late on your first day. Follow me. Right. Yeah, it was a bad nightmare. No, that boy is traumatized. This probably isn't twitching constantly. Looks like the guildmaster got tired of waiting for you. He's probably at the training grounds across the river. Let's go. Let's go, she says. But that's for next time. Also, yeah, by the way, the inventory and everything. So much better. Because I could just use my mouse to click on everything. I mean, yeah. I don't have to use this whole silly A, B thing. But anyway, map. You can look at the world map and see places that you could teleport to if you later on. You can look at the options and change everything just with this. I need to stop doing that. <laughs> I have to actually click cancel though. Instead of just clicking that. Oh, I hear save. Yes, I'm sure. Your saves basically save your community experience between now and items and statistics. Person you couldn't crash will you not be saved though. But, meh. It still saves what we, our experience and everything, so might as well. So anyway, till next time. Hope you all enjoy. Thank you all, and have a nice day.